Hello everybody, welcome back to Cards by the Hill. My name is Jane Hill. So we're going to make an ATC card. And because I made one already, but it wasn't really along the lines of an artist's image or anything, I thought we'd have a go at printing an image and then colour it in to make it look artistic. Now, I'm not going to try and draw it because I can't draw for toffee, even though I'm a crafter. Um, but we will stamp an image and then hopefully colour it in. This is a stamp from Ink Lily and it's the peony stamp. Okay, and it's actually one big image. I'm thinking I might chop it up. Let's have a look, see how much we can fit on there. Uh, We might be able to get away with stamping it without chopping it up. Let's get those out of the way. There's not going to be enough room. Right, so. We're looking at that flower there uh, okay just cut it up I know it's all gonna it's gonna make some of you cringe but you know needs must let's have a look Uh, it's really tough to cut. But I'll get around there. Okay, let's see now where we are. Don't think we'll get the entire set of leaves on there, but let me go around here. Okay, should be able to get most of this on. That little leaf won't won't be on there and all the other bit, but it's more or less filled up the space. So I've got the misty back. Now I've finished the project with the wildflowers. So all should be good with stamping. And I've even got my pressure tool. There we go. And that's the image we'll use. Wonderful. Okay. Let's just 
have a little clean up. Right. So here's our image for colouring. We're going to use Arteza water-based ink, real brush brush pens, which you've seen before. But I think they'll give us a kind of a artsy look. So let's go down the vines in the leaves. that and then color the rest in green Go over the vine. That's not going to be perfect, but it's a kind of an arty image. Artsy image. go you could use watercolors if you wanted to and go back over the vine again the vein there we go right now the stem obviously brown Then we come to the leaves. So let's have a look. We want some pinks and purples, I think. Now, if you can't draw very well, the same as me, there's no reason why you can't do an image like this and just print it, which will give you a better base for colouring. And then you haven't got to worry about getting it perfect or the lines or anything else because it's there. Printed image, you haven't got to worry about it so I'm just going over this in pink As I say, you can use watercolours. These are water-based. There we go. And then I'm just going to go over the tips in purple.
just saw it happen. Doesn't matter if you go over it too much. Don't worry. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And then we're going back in with the pink again just to blend that out a little bit. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. As you can see, the colour is getting darker in places now. There we go. And we'll put a little bit of brown shading where the stem is. grey background behind it so it brings the flower out now I'm just colouring it however I want I'm not a professional artist, I don't claim to be, I don't know what colours go with what pet of what shades and all that sort of thing so if you want to look for that on YouTube you know there's plenty of people out there I've done a little peony for Valentine's. So if you wanted to do a little project, you didn't want to do anything too grand, but you wanted to make something, this won't be a bad idea. It's not going to take you too long. Not going to cost the earth. And it will look very effective. There we go. So there's the little peony. Stamped and coloured. And of course you can put that on a card. If you wanted to there's room on the back to, to write uh, should we do any more with the petals let's have a look I think we'll just go around the very very tips in a darker purple like that Just very lightly. Now 
I'm holding the pin at a little bit of an angle there. Just to catch the tip. Not doing anything particular, just going round the edges of the petals. So, you know, if you put off by drawing and painting and all that sort of thing, just have a little go at a stamped image. Give you a bit of confidence. That's just where the flowers dried up a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Don't think it needs any more than that now. And there's the image. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've tried a stamped image, if you've had any success. And uh, I want to thank you, as I always do, for liking, subscribing. Sending your comments, it means the world to me. I hope you continue to do so. Thank you for your support and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.